Hello dear students. Good morning. Today we are going to discuss about two topics fibers and wood and timber. That is in your textbook page number 167 and 168. Okay. First of all let us discuss about fibers. See what is fibers actually? Narigale. When you open a coconut that is you can see the fibrous wall of coconut. Severi. Inside that you can see many number of strands. Isn't it? These strands are called fibers. So that coconut fibers is used to make what is that known as coir. In Malayalam we will say tire. Or it is used to make carpets also. Isn't it? Nowadays the coconut shell, they are also used for making decorative purposes. Sirata. They are used to make many things using this coconut shell means craft items and in youtube it's widely available that is craft with the coconut shell such like that painting on them or using them we can shape some of this now let us go to the first point jute what is jute you know chakunule you may be seen that one chana it's Malayalam is Chanam. Maybe you're not familiar with Chanam, but you will be more familiar with the word jute. This is usually the cloth that we use to make our sofa. The basement of sofa that is made of this jute. So it's a type of stem, a plant that consists of a small stem, and that plant is cut. After cutting that, a plant that is cut, and we will place it in some area which consists of water and after many days we will take that one and we can see they are made into small strands that is used to make the jute fibers or it is used to make the clothes using jute cotton you know isn't it when we have some wood we will put cotton Using that we make the shirts we wear. Next one, flax. Maybe you are not so familiar with the word flax. Flax seed or linseed. So we make linen using the byproduct of this flax. After taking the oil, there will be chandi. Using that one we make the linen. That is a byproduct after taking the oil from the flax seed. Next one, ah, already discussed what is coir that is made from the coconut fibers and banana strands. The, in the leaves of banana you can see small strands. They are used to either to hold the plants in a garden or nowadays it is also mixed with cotton. They are, they, them two are mixed, cotton plus banana for what? For creating a good texture for the clothes and we use that in the textile industry textiles for making textiles we mix cotton and banana so that is all about the section fibers so it is a small section in your textbook see it's a small section you can here you can see a jute bag jute on the bag that you can see here now we are going to discuss the section wood and timber wood mara timber means study so when we come to the term timber that's most the term that we use if it is used for commercial purpose that has like furnitures so selected like hardwoods they are very strong woods hardwoods example take mango mahogany there are many trees hardwoods we use hardwoods for making furnitures Next one, soft wood. Soft wood means they are not much hard as hard wood. They are only a little hard only. They are very soft. So this type of woods are used in the paper industry. They are crushed and made into paper. Next, salt. The salt trees are mostly used in order to make the wooden blocks that is placed under the railway track. Maybe you have seen that, you have seen that when you are moving in through a railway track, there are some wooden pieces, big wooden pieces that is placed under the track that is made up of the tree sal. Now decorative purpose, for decorative purpose also we are using this wood or timber. For that purpose we are mostly using sandalwood or walnut tree, such like sandal sandana. 
So this type of trees we are using for decorative purposes. And willow tree, we told earlier about willow tree. Willow tree, from the willow tree we obtain the aspirin. That is a medicine for headache and fever. Now willow tree is also used to make cricket bats. Why we make cricket bats with willow tree is, that is very strong, it will not be broken easily. It is flexible also, little flexibility also to the willow tree, that's why it is used in making cricket bat, it will not break easily. Now, from the plants or from the wood, we take the cellulose, man, we crush them and take the substance as a paste, in the paste form. And this cellulose is used to make rayon, a cloth similar to cotton or polyester, that is rayon. So in order to make the cloth rayon, we take the cellulose from a tree. So these are about the section, wood and timber. See, you, here you can see in your textbook. Hardwood, about hardwood, salwood, decorative articles, then willow wood, soft wood for paper, soft wood for paper and cellulose for making rayon. Here you can see many items that are made up of these plants there that we obtain from the plants. Here you can see furniture, cricket bat, everything you can see here. We get all these things from plants. We must conserve plants, isn't it? We must not cut the plants because they are so helpful to us. We must not cut any plant Today onwards, you have to take care. If anyone is cutting any plant in your nearby areas, you have to stop them. Say, so don't cut the trees. That trees are very helpful to us. Okay? Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.